The Goodwill You Think You Know was founded by the Reverend Edgar James Helms in 1902. This Boston preacher was inspired by compassion for the poor, sick, and disabled. He began asking for unwanted clothing, shoes, and household items, which were restored by his needy parishioners. In addition to learning the trades and the skills necessary in the restoration process, they were paid wages out of the profits from selling the items at a weekly church bazaar. Goodwill has been demonstrating the power of work for more than a hundred years. Caring and compassion are still part of our mission, but we are so much more. This is Goodwill Industries, Big Ben. With 21 stores and seven attended donation centers, Goodwill Industries, Big Bend is an important part of more than 300 Goodwill retail stores in the state of Florida that generate over $100 million annually and employ 5,700 Floridians. Goodwill Industries, Big Bend is one of over 200 individual Goodwill organizations in North America and part of a billion dollar Main Street retail industry worldwide. We're not just thrift stores, you know. Goodwill Industries is the largest private provider of training and employment services for people with disabilities and special needs in our area. Helping people become independent and self-sufficient is fundamental to Goodwill's mission. The essence of our slogan, not charity, but a chance, is what helps us transform tax users into tax payers. Thank you, have a good day. We believe in the power of work. From our humble beginnings, we have learned to be efficient and are constantly on guard to make sure your donations go to helping people. 87 cents of every dollar Goodwill earns goes directly towards serving more than 6,000 individuals in vocational programs in the Big Bend area. 2,500 of those people were placed in jobs, creating a total of $41 million a year in new salaries. Jobs aren't enough. People need houses. To be productive citizens, people need a safe, healthy home environment. Goodwill Industries Big Bend President and CEO, Fred Shelford, knows providing jobs isn't enough. People need houses. Roy McDonald came to us in the early 80s, I think, uh, from Sunland Hospital, which was a mental hospital here in Tallahassee that had closed down. Came to us for help. He had been diagnosed as being retarded. But what we found out was that Roy was not retarded. He just was deaf, and nobody at the hospital could communicate with him. We taught him sign language and started working with him found out that what Roy really wanted was opportunity to do better for himself and to work. So we got him a job, and that went real well. He was successful in his work. His employer valued Roy. But then uh, his health started failing. We uh, reunited him with his mother. She came to Tallahassee and got him and took him home, but Roy died several months later from cirrhosis of the liver, which we thought was kind of unusual. He was fairly young and didn't have any of the traits that would cause cirrhosis. And then we found out the ugly truth. Roy had been taking his money from work or the possessions that he bought with his money home with him on Fridays. The other tenants around him discovered this and because Roy couldn't talk, they were systematically stealing his money and beating him to keep him from telling anyone. And we believe that this probably caused his uh, liver failure and ultimately his death. We realized then uh, at Goodwill that we had to do more for people than just provide jobs. They needed a safe, affordable, clean place to live as well as uh, employment.
Here in the Big Bend, more than 400 disabled people are living productive lives in nine separate housing developments. We cannot stop there. Our waiting list is long, and there are still so many other disabled people and low-income families who need the independence and safety that homes like these can offer. Like many of Florida's disabled, Jeremy Lewis was confined to living in a family member's home. At that house, I had trouble getting in and out of the bathroom, and the, the hallway was really tight, and I was always scrubbing the walls as I was rolling down the hallway to my bedroom. And none of that was a problem at the new Goodwill apartment, and I loved the apartments immediately. They were much more handicapped accessible than the uh, house that I was sharing with my grandmother. I mean, everything was wide open, everything was handicapped accessible. I could go to the bathroom, I could go to the shower. Everything was wonderful. Where I was living, out in the country, there just wasn't much opportunity for anything. I mean, I had trouble getting rides to the doctor. I had try, uh, trouble getting rides to the grocery store to buy food. So moving to a city, um, it just had location advantages. I was going to be closer to stores, I was going to be closer to doctors, I was going to be closer to places that actually needed employment. Opportunity was literally right around the corner for Jeremy. Right next door they were offering training program and I actually received some computer skills during a five-month computer training program that Google offered for free. I was living right next door so I didn't have any transportation problems. It only took me two or three minutes to get there. And after that training they recommended me for a job and were able to place me through their job placement program. So I've utilized several of Goodwill's programs, I guess you could say, the housing program, the training program, and the job placement program. And I've been the beneficiary of just so much from Goodwill. And Jeremy's success story doesn't end there. A valuable member of today's workforce, Jeremy has been working for over a year with Nextel. Thank you for calling Nextel. This is Jeremy speaking. How can I help you today? And is on his way to completing an associate degree in science. But there are still thousands of people just like Jeremy in our area who are waiting for their chance. Goodwill is changing lives for the better. Whether it's bringing someone into the workforce for the first time, or liberating a person with a disability through the freedom of a home, Goodwill is changing lives. At Goodwill, we continually reinvest our earnings into training and job programs to those in need. And because Florida's Goodwills do not depend on government support, one of the major obstacles keeping us from helping more people live independently in safe and clean homes is simply the lack of capital. Goodwill Industries Big Bend is ready to expand and can afford to build many more safe, attractive, and well-equipped homes for people like Jeremy. But in the current real estate climate, the cost of raw land on which to build homes makes it very difficult to expand. Goodwill needs your help. Goodwill Industries Big Ben wants to help you play your part, your civic part. Goodwill Industries Big Bend has an amazing history and record of accomplishment. But we will never be satisfied while so many still need our services. There is still so much more we can do if you'll lend a helping hand. Help us give the joy of hope, dignity, and independent living. Goodwill Industries, doing so much more than you thought, and even more with your help. <laughs>